The trailer for episode 2 is out already? In this video, you will find out. Before we start, please like it, let's go. Before we discuss the trailer, let's talk about the release of episode 2 of The Amazing Digital Circus and what could be in episode 2. The pilot has already received almost 240 million views in just three months. Let's not delay and start our awesome digital video. The most talked about aspect of the new episode is the new characters. Many are wondering if they will appear. There are arguments in favor of this, but on the other hand, some factors suggest that it might not happen. The new characters are believed to be individuals who participated in the digital circus and accepted one of Kane's offers. However, it is worth considering the possibility that various NPCs may also be new characters. This would be just as intriguing as a new protagonist. In this video, we will discuss both possibilities. The pilot episode featured a glowing queen who was introduced as an anti-hero and an adversary to our heroes. After all, it is a colorful and safe place where one can have fun all day without the need for basic necessities like food and sleep. Therefore, such characters cannot be considered serious threats. However, the idea of enemies in a digital circus seems implausible. Additionally, it has been revealed that the glowing ice and its queen were created by the digital circus, specifically by Kane himself. Now imagine if something serious happened that completely broke the rules of the digital circus. Kane may create one or more dangerous NPCs that pose a threat to our characters. The Shining Queen has no intention of harming anyone. The AI will not create NPCs with negative attitudes towards our characters as the adventure aims to entertain the circus inhabitants. The digital circus was initially populated by kings and queens. If Kane targets you, it can greatly affect your mental state. Due to the limited number of characters available at the time, Kane focused on these characters. Kafmo has already shown us that Kane is not who he appears to be, and the state of harmony at the end of the last episode is questionable. These factors give us cause for thought. If this secret room was indeed created by Kane, he knows the pain points of every inhabitant and will use them to drive the character crazy. Queenie was the first woman in the digital circus, and since Kane hadn't had contact with girls in a long time, all his love energy was focused on her. The first year or two in the digital circus were fabulous for her because she got everything she wanted. Unfortunately for the toothy administrator, Queenie eventually realized Kane's true nature and began treating him like a villain. This treatment did not sit well with him. Queenie did not give Kane any reason to think about their relationship. King noticed signs of attention towards his wife and initially told Kane to end it. When Queenie directly stated that nothing could happen between her and Kane, the real digital hell began. Kane sent several dummies to King, her and Queenie every day. The dummies were not given food or allowed to sleep, and the lights were left on in their rooms. This treatment began to drive our chess piece crazy, although it was not initially noticeable. The abuse lasted for eight years. After this time, King was in a vulnerable state. Girls like Queenie may have a more unstable emotional background, which can make them more vulnerable to abuse. Kane dealt the final blow by stealing Queenie at night and hiding her in one of the mannequin rooms. The room only contains a bed, and there is no actual door. The room only contains a bed, and there is no actual door. Queenie found herself in a poorly lit room with no means of escape. It was later announced that Queenie had transformed into a monstrous being. We know what happened to King Her. However, Queenie was present throughout the rest of the digital circus. Let's now help you with the trailer itself. As we know that the official trailer has not been released yet, but we remember that there is a teaser in which we see sleeping Pomni in her room. The first thing to notice is Pomni's bed. It is identical to Pomni, with clothes of the same colors and alternating stripe pattern. This suggests that Pammy is in her own room and has not accidentally entered someone else's. The room is dominated by blue and red. Pay attention to what is behind poverty. The bright room has a dark area in the middle and red curtains on the sides. It seems like there is something worth isolating yourself from. Initially, I thought it was a door, but that would be inconvenient if it opened to someone's bed. My hunch is that it's just a connection between rooms with other characters. It may seem strange, but this is the amazing digital circus we're talking about. This teaser may be a reference to an old leak of Pomni's room. Originally, the room was shown in darker colors with many little canes flying around the sleeping Pomni. Upon close inspection, it is evident that in the original concept, Pomni's bed shared the same colors as canes. Therefore, it is likely that upon arriving at the digital circus, the characters will spend their first few hours in Kane's room before moving to their own. To summarize the analysis briefly, Pomni's room is consistent with her image as a fool. 
and Kaufmo's room, which is kind of a clown, was very dark. Now, let's move on to the theories. However, it is unfair to judge without seeing her original appearance. Additionally, let us not forget Jangle's room, which also has a gloomy atmosphere. Pomni's room reflects the essence of Digital Circus. Even if you combine Gangle and Kaufmo's rooms, they won't be as interesting as the room from the teaser. I am glad about this. Moving on to the theories, one will be about the new release date. Be sure to watch until the end. Romney appears exhausted as she shows no signs of being bothered by the bright lighting around her. This teaser is likely the beginning of the second episode, continuing the plot from the pilot. Why the room? It may be a key location in the second episode, and something worrisome may happen there. Perhaps someone will be taken, such as Kinger, Zweibel, or Jax. I cannot reveal all the details yet, as I have a video on this topic that will be available soon. The room reflects the character's mental states. Pomni's room is bright and colorful when her mental health is good, but turns creepy when she experiences problems. The teaser suggests that Pomni is currently doing well, but the second episode may show her struggling. The episode ends with her room in a different state. It is clear that Cosmo's room was not always like this. However, we saw from the bright clown's room, where the psychopath lived, that he went completely insane. The second theory is that Pomni is a circus performer who is currently sleeping in his dressing room. According to this theory, the horror experienced in the pilot episode is just a bad dream. All the characters we saw are real people in costumes, and the plot will revolve around the circus, not digitally, but in reality. Finally, regarding the teaser and release date of the new episode, as previously mentioned in my videos, a message was displayed wishing us a Merry Christmas and promising more of the digital circus very soon. This was the first hint of the new episode. If we see the teaser, it means that the episode is almost finished. However, there are still some tasks left, such as voice acting, color correction, and dubbing. Based on the various news and leaks, we can expect the new episode to be released in the next three or four weeks, possibly even by the end of January. It is important to avoid adding new content to the text. Once released, we can enjoy 25 minutes of quality and interesting animation. Glitch episodes are over 25 minutes long. Many shows have a one-minute intro at the beginning to extend the length of the show. However, in the case of the Digital Circus, Kaufmo has abstracted and Pomni is now in the circus. Therefore, they cannot have the same intro because Kaufmo's section needs to be changed to Pomni. It would be easy enough to match the music since the names have the same number of syllables. However, the animation would require a complete redo to fit properly. If the series were finished today, it is unlikely that it would be released for one reason. The animation is too expensive to release now or in February. Advertisers spend most of their money in December to make money for Christmas sales, and then in January, they spend less. Glitch will have to release it later. Let's hope Saz makes more money despite the delays. A second teaser of the plot of the second episode for Christmas, the bug-fixing team decided to take a quick photo of all the characters giving gifts to each other. And in the photo, it seems that all the characters were portraying Secret Santa with Zubal fixing Jengle's mask. Kind gives Remember a gift. Ragatha gives Kinger a pillow, and Jax puts a millipede as a gift for Ragatha to fiddle with, which tells us that in the second series, Kinger will get his pillow for him back. Jengle will be happy again. Ragatha will be very angry with Jax. And Remember may have gotten something weird from Kane that could give us more insight into the knowledge of the circus, and this second teaser just hints once again at the fact that Episode 2 will be coming out very soon. But stop yapping when Episode 2 is actually predicted to come out if they are really working on it full speed ahead and want to release Episode 2. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck!